are pretty good. I am further north than the last video when I was in the Ghost PRA. I'm going to try for the summit of Zombie Peak tomorrow. I don't know how often it gets climbed if it's a rarity like Carrot Peak, but it's hard to imagine that there's millions of people right over there. There's places nearby that have only been visited a handful of times. It's kind of crazy. Well, I think this is going to be a good spot to spend the night and I made sure to load up on all the necessary amenities before I came out here. I've got an Outcast Brewing Bestish IPA and a Hocktail Amber Ale. These are both Alberta beers. I think it's important to support your local craft brewery and also your taste buds will thank you for it. I can't wait to try these out. Hopefully I can make it up to the summit tomorrow. According to the trip report, there's a difficult cliff band that I have to climb up. Not sure if I'll be able to do it or not. Most of the mountains in this area, there is information online. In the past, uh, I have made up a lot of my own routes. It's just a matter of going out there and doing some trial and error. When the days are short like this, it's nice to have the trip report and it's kind of a sure deal. Pretty soon I gotta change my channel name to Forcey Force in the Crock-Pot. We're Forcey Force in the Crock-Pot. We have been together for almost a year, cooking delicious meals in the back of a minivan. Join us as we travel around Western Canada, exploring the backcountry, hiking, and seasoning our meat with a baby wipe. It's been two days since I made up this uh, beef soup, and I still got half a crock pot full. I was thinking that I'd try to finish the job tonight and turn it into a stew, but you know what? It tastes good as it is, so I'm just going to serve it up. I'm just going to top this off with some parsley. Really happy with how the soup turned out. It's all about the simple pleasures in life. Last night I spent the night in Cocker and that's the first time that I ever stopped in there. And I really liked it. It's not such a huge city. It's easy to get around. And it's got a nice location close to the mountains. I would love to go back to BC, Invermere and the Purcells. But it's not really possible right now with the travel restrictions. So I'll just have to keep focusing my efforts around the front range. Well, that's my night eating some soup. That's uh, some quality entertainment right there. As for this hike tomorrow, I'm going to try to be out on the trail for 6 a.m. And it looks like I can make use of my fat bike on the approach. So I'll see you there. This is crazy. It's not even slightly cold out. There's a warm breeze coming off the mountains this morning. Managed to ride the first five kilometers, decorated this tree with my bike. It's only another five kilometers to the summit. I don't think I'll be too strapped for daylight today. People are always wondering if I've ever had any Sasquatch encounters. It is strange how little I see wildlife out here. Like, can I at least start with a bear or sheep or chipmunk? <laughs> Anything? It's so windy, I nearly lost my drone on that. I went flying like, like 100 feet out there. It's lucky I could uh, get it come back to me. The GPS track goes straight up there. That's too much for me. I already looked for an easier way that way. There's nothing over there. So I'm going to look over here. And if there's nothing in this direction, that might be my day. This way looks kind of promising. Maybe it's too early to get my hopes up though. Yeah, this way's looking really promising. I'm not sure why those guys decided to climb up that cliff. Maybe they're just showing off. I don't mind a bit of climbing, but if it means you slip, you die. No thanks. <laughs> Respect to them over at Spectacular Mountains though. Doing that without ropes, that's impressive. 
It could also be that this way isn't possible without the snow here, but I gotta keep going. It's so incredibly windy up there in the summit. I'm just taking shelter behind this rock. I'll run up there and do a quick panoramic and uh, have my sandwich and a beer. But it's good to know that you can bypass that climb up the cliff. I don't know if it's possible in the summer, but definitely with some snow cover, you can get up here fairly safely. As you guys know, I've been trying to sell this minivan and I've got some promising leads on it. I was just holding off on finishing this video. Uh, I wanted to finish it up with a solid answer whether or not it's sold, but uh, it's looking it's looking promising. It very well could be Forcey Force last adventure in this minivan. Uh, I've already been looking at a new used van here in the city, taking it out for a test drive, and uh, I think you guys will be excited to see it if it happens in the next video. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a difficult transition for me to get myself moved over into another van, especially at this time of year. Uh, I'm just going to have to park over there at the dealership and transfer all my stuff into it, pile it up on the floor. I'm going to keep a few things like my gas stove and the NOCO 20 amp uh, wall charger. I'm going to need that to get through. Uh, I've already got some parts for my new imaginary van build. This is a 60 amp DC to DC charger. This is a big unit. I hope that uh, it'll charge up my new battery fast. But I won't be able to use this right away because uh, first I'm gonna have to get a high output alternator installed on the new van. So it could be a long time before I have electricity set up in there. It does have a 150 watt socket on the dash so I will have a little bit of electricity that's enough to run the slow cooker but yeah the first month is going to be difficult uh, not having heat or anything uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get through this but we'll see uh, I think uh, also what I'm going to have to do is uh, put most of my stuff into a storage locker for a month I basically just want to get the the flooring done in the van right now and uh, the diesel heater the electricity would be nice and uh, later on when the weather starts to warm up again in spring uh, I'll start building it out a little more uh, to my needs so I'm thinking uh, for now I might just run over to Value Village and uh, pick up some cupboards or a cot or something <laughs> it should be interesting from here on out uh, where the channel goes so I've already decided I'm not going to have any solar on the next van build. I've been disappointed with the performance of the 200 watts on this one and it's basically useless for like three quarters of the year up here. So instead of trying to overcompensate going up to 600 watts or whatever, I'm just going to cut it out completely and charge off the engine alone this time around. With my lifestyle traveling around a lot, I think that's going to work out for me. And the lithium battery that I have right now, it's made by a Canadian company called Linac. I've been chatting with Connor over there and uh, he's going to donate a new 200 amp hour lithium True Series battery to the build. That's uh, really generous of him. Thank you so much. I can't wait to try it out. So I'll have more than double the usable capacity is what I have right now. And the specs on it are a lot higher as well. I'll be able to use my induction all the way up to 1800 watts, which will be amazing. And I'm not just saying this because they're donating a battery to me. This one has worked out great for me. I tested it out about a month ago and it's still at its full capacity. Uh, the only thing that I found is that uh, the 100 amp hour does go quick. I have to be careful how I use it. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to try out the new one. Thank you, Linac. Well, that's about all I want to say for now without revealing too much information. I still love this van. It's hard to let it go. We've all been through so much together. But I think it'll have some uh, more adventures in its future. I'll talk more about that when the deal is all wrapped up. That's all for now. So thanks for watching. Thank you to Patreon supporters. Thank you uh, for keeping me out of the factory and on the trails. And I'll see you in the next video.